Welcome into the recap of the White Sox 5 1 loss to the Minnesota Twins on Sunday afternoon at Guaranteed Rate Field. I'm David Kaplan. A lot to discuss in this ball game because 5 1 sounds like you got pounded, and in actuality, that's not how this whole thing went down. Dylan Bundy was excellent. Five outstanding innings for the Twins, allowed two hits and no runs. It was a 2 0 ball game. Lucas Giolito was rolling along early. Uh, gave up a two-run home run to Carlos Correa, who had two extra base hits in the ball game, uh, but he piled up his pitch count again, near a hundred through five innings, and that cannot happen. This is your opening day starter, folks. This guy was the ace of the staff. He's been an all-star, and this year he has not come close to that. He's probably the number five in your rotation right now, which is highly, highly disappointing. Uh, but let's talk about. What went down in this game? It's 2 nothing. Sox come back in the seventh. Uh, they string some hits together, and they've got it to 2-1. And they have Leury Garcia coming up with Adam Hazley, who was pinch running for Yasmani Grandal. Hazley is at third base. And they decided to go with a safety squeeze. Now, me personally, I would have gone suicide squeeze. We're in the seventh. Offense is not great for this club anyway. And... Twins have a bunch of dudes that can really throw in their bullpen. I would have taken the chance because I don't believe Leury Garcia is a great option. They didn't have a ton of options to go to. I don't think Luis Robert was available. Uh, that's what I would have loved to seen them be able to do, but he's still dealing with injuries, and so he was unavailable, it appeared. And so they let Garcia hit, and they ran a safety squeeze, not a suicide squeeze, and the bunt was right back to the pitcher. That's problem number one. Problem number two is Adam Hazley did an absolutely awful job at reading the play. And by the time he got rolling, he was out at the plate clearly. It wasn't close. Uh, unfortunate. Uh, and then they got a strikeout to end the inning. And the Sox really never threatened again. And then the bullpen did not do a great job. Plus you got Kendall Graveman come in for Jake Diekman, and I'm not a big Diekman guy. They got him. He was a salary dump from Boston. That wasn't really trying to add on to your team. I think it was, all right, we'll take that guy. We got some money on the payroll. Let's take him. Uh, and Diekman hasn't been great, and so he struggled. In comes Kendall Graveman, and he throws a slider. He throws a heavy ball. That ball's diving down, but it did not get in the dirt. It wasn't going to be close to a strike. And guess what? Sebi Zavala, who's on this roster because he's supposedly the best defensive catcher they have. Ball isn't in the dirt now. It's down. He misses it. Ball goes to the backstop, run scores, effectively ending the ball game. It's 3-1 at that point. And then uh, there's a double, scores two more, and it's a 5-1 game. Bullpen locked it down, and it was over. Uh, disappointing that when your defensive catcher can't block a ball, that's a problem. Your starting pitcher, as I said, didn't do a very good job. And then offensively, they didn't get a whole lot of productivity. Got that one inning in the seventh when they had opportunities, and that was about it. All right, here's the schedule coming up. Cleveland, as I'm recording this, is in a weather delay, and they are losing by a run to the Mariners. If the Mariners do get to finish that game and they win, Sox stay two back. Twins will be tied for the lead. Uh, if that game is a rainout, the Sox would lose half a game. They'll be two and a half back, and the Twins would be a half game out. Here's their upcoming series. Starting tomorrow night in Seattle, they've got three with the Mariners. That's going to be tough. Then they have four at Oakland, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then they come home, two-game series with the Rockies, one at Cleveland on the 15th, and then three at Detroit from the 16th to the 18th. There's a lot of winnable baseball games there, but it's a 500 team. And that means teams looking at you coming in feel the exact same way. So again, they picked up four games this week. Uh, and if the Twins, or excuse me, if the Guardians lose today, they will have picked up four. If not, it's three and a half. They would lose a half a game losing today and the Guardians get rained out. And if the Guardians do win, then you only pick up three for the week. So that spells it out where they're at. Two and a half as I record this. Have a great rest of your night. If you want in, we're getting close to awarding the next 70-inch TV from Apt Electronics. All you have to do is email me.
I want to enter the contest. That's all you have to say. Recap, R-E-K-A-P at thecapman.com. You want in, send the email. We're approaching 9,000. We hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm giving away the second one. We gave one away at 5,000 as well. Plus two $100 gift cards. Take your family to dinners at Lou Malnati's. Two winners each will get 100. Have a great rest of your night. I appreciate you. Take that.